running into a bit of an issue. On the first, on the first unit, and I've ran quite a few tests on here, working with it, um, the oak warped. It warped, it'd break the seal, it, uh, because these, these plates, it would it'd break down too much, crack, get brittle, I kind of replaced a piece here. So, one of the things I was going to do with this one is for the end pieces use plywood because it would be less prone to warping. However, with plywood, the glue that holds it all together is not real heat resistant. It comes right apart. So even though I glued, glued the two layers together, I actually used JB Weld, or, you know, and uh, that holds, but the glue between the layers does not. So my solution is I'm going to make my own multi-layer ply, well, not wood, but it'll be actually cotton in this case. I'm using the uh, linen paper, the cotton paper, and I'm going to try two different techniques. If I can make it work, where I'm going to basically paint and layer it, and then kind of bake it with the high heat paint, that would be much more cost effective than uh, using the higher temp epoxy, which I know this will work, but I don't know if this will, to uh, hold the layers together. What that gains me is, this is good to a thousand degrees, these are good to, I think it said 550, the paper, the, the cotton paper, is good to over 600. So, um, much more temper, temperature resistant than the wood would be. Okay, I did some testing, there does seem to be a grain to the paper. So to make sure everything comes out stronger and straighter, I'm going to alternate the pages back and forth as I stack them. Now that I let it dry a little bit, pressed between the two, uh, two tiles, I'm going to put it on my hot plate, just kind of let it cook for a while on low, between the two tiles here. Hopefully that will kind of bake it and set it in that shape. Try to get this up now. how much it'll take to do a sheet, so... It's kind of hard to spread. So, well, let's examine the results of my attempt to make a higher uh, temperature resistant material than the plywood that came apart with the glue. First we have the sheets of the cotton paper that I layered with um, the black paint. When, you know, before it was baked, it stuck together quite well. But once it bakes, it kind of turns into a powder. It doesn't bond at all between the sheets. Or if it does, not much. So that will not work. Although very temperature resistant, did not bond the layers together at all. Now, the second thing I tried was layering the sheets of cotton paper with the basically JB Weld. It's made a nice sturdy sheet. Made uh, the second layer where the glass panes will go in to make my front cover. So we'll just try cutting this out now and assembling it.
set both sides out. They're not as strong as, I mean this one isn't too bad to bend like this. This one, you can see there's a couple spots, well, not that way, but there's a little bit of a gap here and a little bit of a gap there if you bend it. But once it's glued together it'll be much stronger, much more rigid, especially once the uh, glass panels are in. So I don't have much concern about that, so you know, assemble that, drill it out, glue the panels in. Basically the same as I did on the first engine, so I'm not really going to make a video of that process. But uh, and this time around I'm going to use bearings, which will seat right in here, like so. This is the finished new front cover, the, uh, the cotton layered uh, board, came out very stiff, very rigid, very nice. Uh, baked it down with the paint and stuff at about 500 degrees for about a half hour or until it stopped, you know, eating many smoke. Put in the panels. If anyone's wondering how I go about that process when I say I baked it, I suspended it inside this coffee can that's vented just over a hot plate with a hot plate at about 500 degrees or so. So, uh, comes out pretty nice. Next, I'm going to make a displacer so that when I, uh, Go put the front and back on. I can adjust it a little bit before I drill my holes all the way through to make sure that the displacer doesn't rub. It fits nicely inside. I have the redesign of the uh, rotary displacer here. It's right at the edge of almost running. I guess it's running. Still having trouble delivering sufficient heat to the bottom of the the displacer with my stand here. So much heat is coming from the hot plate that it's going to damage the uh, displacer before the bottom heats up sufficiently. Let me try here. I might have to build a different kind of stand or something to a little adjustment on the angle here. Let's try a little different. definite issue on how much heat the displacer the front and back can take. The front panel I remade out of cotton and uh, epoxy, but the rest is still plywood. Let's just shift it the other way, see if it maybe runs better the other direction a little bit. the right way on the other side. Almost. Let's go back a hair. So that does appear to be independently running, but not very well. Let's see if it speeds up as it goes here at all. Definitely is not going to be able to power the rotary uh, rectifier I had, or the rectifier I was going to run my rotary engine with on top. That's just because of uh, the way it was structured, I had the misconception that a rotary displacer might actually be more efficient than a plunger style. That's clearly not the case. But it is running. Probably if you get a hair more out of it with a little better balance. The old uh, 
flywheel. On the back side, I do have a counterweight. I don't know if you can see, but oh, oh, have ice on top that uh, just spilled. Uh, that's the first run, first successful run anyway. See if we can make things better. This isn't really ice anymore. We'll get it run a little bit more. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. This was the first run of the engine. Not really what I intended to build when I started this project, but it's going to have to be where it ends for now. I'll probably pick up the rectifier concept next fall again. Uh, as for this, I believe I can tune it a bit more. There may be a bit of an air leak on the front cover, so I think I can get it to perform a little better than it is now. Once again, thanks for watching.